Hello, welcome to Refine Me, I'm Mel Wright. Today's video is all about face proportions and whether it's right for you to actually have treatments or not. So did you know that beauty is classified as mathematics? So anything that is classed as beautiful, whether it's a shell, a flower, a human face, falls under a certain ratio, and that's a ratio of what's known in, the, in my industry as phi. So ratio of one to 1.6. And there's various ways of measuring it. I'm actually gonna show you on my own face to demonstrate where I could or potentially don't need filler to create the perfect ratio. And the way that you can do that is, you can do it by the eye, which is what I tend to do. However, there's a little tool called calipers and they help you to, to see what the actual golden ratios are. So here goes. The ratio that we're gonna start with is the foundation for all of the ratios because it's the only one that doesn't change with age. So once you finish growing, this remains consistent and then all of the ratios build around that. And again, as time goes on, your other ratios will change. So things like your chin, for example, goes up, your nose goes down, things go in. And it allows us to see where you've lost certain elements of your face. Maybe you were never in proportion, which doesn't really matter because we can alter that with treatments. So the one I'm gonna start with is my foundation and this is the one that doesn't change with age. And that's between the eyes. So if I pop the calipers here, this is my ratio of one. And this part is my ratio of 1.68. So in theory, this should allow that part of the caliper to hit my cheek, which it basically does, which means that part of my face is in proportion. Now this part of my face should be the same width as my nostrils, which again, it basically is. So again, that part of my face is in proportion. Now going down, this part should be the same width as my chin which it basically is. My chin could maybe be a tiny bit pointier, much to my husband's horror, but it, it could be. <laughs> now on a male, this part of the chin should actually be that width because males should always have a more square chin. Males, males ideally do not want to have a round chin and don't want to have a pointy chin. So this is the ratio for males. The final ratio that we work with with this distance is using this part of the caliper and our lips should basically be this wide. So if we pop the calipers there, my lips are a tiny bit too wide, which again, I'm not surprised about. Um, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the direction that we're measuring. So so far we measured out, this time we're gonna measure up and we're gonna start with the forehead. So the calipers should basically measure from the forehead to the nose, up uh, to the bridge of the nose, and that should define where the chin lies. So I'm kind of in proportion. Next, you move down and you do the chin. There we go. There you go. The nose to the chin, not quite in proportion. My nose is pretty big, as you can see. Then then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move down again. So we're gonna go from the nose to the point where the lips meet to the base of the chin. So again. totally out of proportion. And then what you do is you then look at the lips. So the lips should be a ratio of one to 1.68. Now my calipers don't quite go that small. However, we do know just by looking that my bottom lip is fuller than my top lip. So again, they're pretty much in proportion, but that just allows us to see where the face is in proportion and where it isn't. And by seeing that, it allows us to see if you're going more towards beauty or away from beauty by having treatments. Now, ideally what we want to do is we want to create natural proportions to keep you looking as beautiful as possible. Um, and again, there's a way of looking from the side to look at your side profile to see if you're going to or away from beauty. Measuring the side profile isn't always quite as accurate as the front with the calipers, just because it doesn't always work so well. However, I will show you a couple of techniques. So one way is when you hold something straight from the nose to the chin, the lips should touch that same point. So, as you can see, mine don't. So I could have a little bit of filler to make my lips protrude forward a little bit more, which would make my side pro profile more pleasing. And then when you look at the lips from the side as well, the top lip should ideally protrude a tiny bit more than the bottom lip. And again, that's aesthetically pleasing and it's also a youthful appearance. So look at mine. Doesn't quite work, does it? So again, I could have a little bit of lip filler and it would just make me more aesthetically pleasing. And again, with lips, lips are quite a scary thing to have done. However, if the lips protrude in as they often do with age, if the chin turns up as it often does with age, 
if the nose turns down, as it often does with age, if a face shrinks in, it goes against all of those ratios that we've just spoken about. So when you're thinking of having treatments, what we do is we try and keep you in balance. And I work with nature. I work with those ratios to try and keep you looking as naturally in proportion as possible. I really hope you found that helpful and it's giving you an insight into how I work. So my theory is work with nature because it's that that's going to take you more towards beauty. If you go outside of those proportions, it takes you further away from beauty. Please feel free to like and share this video if you've enjoyed it. And thank you again for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.